Hello Fantasy Gamers and welcome back to what could be the last turn of this Shadows Over Camelot tournament. Ten Siege Engines outside Camelot, two more needed and the game will end. Okay, so if two Siege Engines, siege engines are added then the Loyal Knights will lose. Much to the delight of the traitorous knight or knights. So one traitor was revealed last turn. Uh, Jay Palerino was a traitor all along. And there could be another one out there, we don't know. So we start this turn with King Arthur. And he is fighting the Saxons at the moment. And his progression of evil is to add a siege engine. What? Could he be showing his true colours here? That is pretty damning. The 11th Siege Engine is down and now it's looking like this game will end this turn. He is also moving back to Camelot. He is using his special power of trading a card with Sir Tristan. He's giving Sir Tristan a card, so Sir Tristan you'll need to detail what card you're going to give back to King Arthur and that's the end of his, this his go so the knights face a pretty vicious task of getting rid of those siege engines before Jay Palerino's go because the traitor's bound to add a siege engine right so we move on to the Princess Nixie uh, Sir Garris she's sitting at Camelot and she is losing a life as her progression of evil, so she goes down to one life. As her heroic action, she is playing Piety uh, on herself, so she's adding three life points to herself, so she's now up to four. Good move, getting some extra life. And then she is losing a life to do an extra heroic action, and that is to fight a siege engine. Okay, and she is going to make sure she definitely gets it, so she's playing a, a 5 and a 4. So, a Siege Engine is down, so we're back down to 10, thanks to Sir Garris's heroics. And we move on to Twin Master Pro. He is taking a card as his progression of evil, and it's a Despair card, so that wipes out the last grail on the grail quest and the forces of evil just need one anti-grail card to win that quest and uh, Sir Gwain is playing a four and a three in order to take on a siege engine so with Excalibur that is eight so we'll roll the dice see what he gets it's a four just move that. Four. Okay, so that's another siege engine down. So they're down to nine siege engines. Starting to look a little bit nicer for the loyal knights there. Um, I think that's the end of his go. Ah, yes. He was going to lose a life point, go down to one life, to draw three cards. He draws three because his special ability allows him to draw three. Right, so now we move on to Sir Tristan. Sir Tristan sitting at the Saxon quest there. He is losing a life point as his progression of evil. And he is playing, as his heroic action, the Lady of the Lake. And that gives him two life points, so he goes up to three life. And that's the end of his go. Pretty uh, non, non-eventful go there, gaining a bit of life. Still on the Saxon quest, which is pretty looking pretty dangerous right now, with three Saxons there. Moving on to Sir Kay, Matt Lewis, right before the traitor, and Sir Kay is on the dragon quest. And uh, it's going to be a pretty special go for him because he has the Dragon Slayer card. 
Let's see that. The Dragon Slayer card, which he's playing, allows him to play two fight cards if he's on the Dragon Quest. So he's going to play two fight cards now. And he's going to play a four and a three. So that is two fours down and one three down. And not only that, he is losing a life point, going down to one life, to play another fight card. And he can do that because his first action was different. It was by, he was playing a special white as his first action, and he's playing, uh, the, he's doing the quest specific action as his second action. So uh, that is perfectly legal, and in fact, um, the Merlin's company rules. Uh, specifically detail that for that card. So, a very good move by him, but he is on one health now, so it's looking dangerous. This quest over here, uh, the Dragon Quest, just needs one more Fight 4 and one more Fight 3, and maybe Bedivere will be playing on that quest, we'll find out later. Right, now the traitor! Or at least a traitor. We don't know if he's the traitor yet. Um, so, Jay Pallarino, what is he up to? He's taunting the knights first, and he said that he wants to do a random knight with the dice roll again, rather than choosing, so I'm quite happy to do that. Let's see which knight he gets. Uh, same numbering system as last time. Two, so that is one, two, the Princess Nixie, so Garrus. So you are losing a random card. Just shuffle up your cards here. Okay, this one is being lost. I'll just check what that is so I can tell you. All right. And he is then adding a catapult. So we are back up to 10 catapults. Right, going into that's his go done. Going into uh, Sir Geraint's go, that's Vicky Bane. She has said that if there are 10 catapults down, she will use her Merlin card to get rid of one. Oh wait, first she has to do Progression of Evil. Uh, let's just check what that was. She's drawing a black card. Okay, black card. It's a despair card. So that is the Grail Quest lost. The Grail Quest has been lost. The Holy Grail is taken off the board. The Grail Quest is turned over. Is there any further Grail cards? We'll add a Siege Engine. Um, and three Black Swords are added to the round table. Ooh. Right. So, five black swords each at the round table. Two spaces left for swords. Of course, if a quest gives you more swords than there are spaces, then those are included. Uh... Right, so that was her progression of evil. The Grail quest ended, so Sir Geraint is now playing a Merlin card to destroy a siege engine. There it is. Uh, and we're back down to nine, nine siege engines. Excellent news for the knights, loyal knights. So it looks like we're going to get through this round, as Sir Benavir is the only one left. Um, uh, he's drawing a black card as his progression of evil. It's a special black. Uh, what does it say? For the rest of the game, Merlin cards are permanently removed from the game when played rather than simply discarded. Okay, well, if people want to use Merlins to get rid of that, they can say so in the comments, but at this late stage in the game, that uh, would be such a silly move that it's almost not worth thinking about. Right, so let's go. So Bedivere, uh, his go now. He drew 
Uh, seven Witches number six is his progression of evil. And he is over on the Dragon Quest. Let's see what he does. Uh, he says he is going to play a fight question mark card. So he gets to choose and he's playing that on the fight four. So that is three fours down. Um, there's two threes down so they just need one card left to finish that. And he is also playing, he is losing a life point. So he's down to one life. He's using a life point to play his Merlin card. And this does go in the discard pile because remember seven witches is only activated at the end of the round. So, and he's using that to discard the last card played on, on that quest. Uh, pretty anxious not to, uh, not to lose that quest. Good move by him. Right, so we have actually made it through all the knights. So they live to tell a tale for the next round. Here's the overview of the board. We've got Sir Kay and Sir Bedivere. One more card needed, one three, left to do on the Dragon Quest. Okay, um, Seven Witches probably is now going to activate because I can't see anyone discarding Merlins to stop Merlins being removed permanently from the game because the game's nearly over, let's face it. So that's going to be activated, so any Merlins now played will be permanently removed. We have nine Siege Engines down. Nine Siege Engines down. Uh, thanks to the heroics of Sir Gawain, Sir Garris, and Sir Geraint. And uh, people that added a Siege Engine, King Arthur added a Siege Engine, and uh, the traitor, Jay Pallarino, he added a Siege Engine. Um, what else has happened this turn? Yeah, quite a few people have gone down in life. So King Arthur is on two. Sir Garris is on three. Sir Gawain is on one. Uh, Sir Tristan is on three. Sir Kay is on one. Sir Geraint is on two. And Sir Bedivere is on one. Other quests likely to end soon. The Saxons there have three. That's it. That's it for this go. Okay. Um, tomorrow we'll hopefully, as there's ten swords there, um, and there's only two left, and this quest is nearly over, tomorrow is probably, almost definitely, the last go of the game, as the dragon quest uh, will surely be completed, adding the final two swords. Um, yeah. Uh, see you... See you tomorrow. Last moves in for everyone. Oh, hang on. Tomorrow we start with Sir Garris. Okay? So Sir Garris has the first move. Bye for now.